So are you new to fly fishing or just getting started? I'm gonna show you a fly fishing technique when fly fishing rivers that'll help you catch more fish. And after doing this technique, I cannot wait for you to try it out and report back in the comments if it worked for you as well. Because boy oh boy, did it work for Kobe and I on a recent trip. And be sure to stick to the end of the video because I'm going to give you a fly fishing tip when fishing indicators that you're gonna to wanna to know about. Well, since we're on a river fishing today, I thought it might be a good time to show you a tactic that really works well, specifically with flies tied on a jig hook. I was up in Northern Idaho and nothing was happening all day long. We were swinging streamers and nymphs, could not get anything. So I tied on this green egg sucking leech, big red head, tungsten bead tied on a jig. And you can actually, it's almost like fly fish jigging because if you tie this on an indicator and you let it float down the river, just that little bit of jigging action that happens from the indicator really makes that fly fishy and it worked really well for us on this trip. The other thing you wanna target are these ledges or drop-offs. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but right out in front of me, right here, you can kinda of see how it turns from light to dark. There's an edge and I'm throwing the fly just above that edge. And then as it just as it falls, so it's probably scraping the gravel as it comes off that edge and the fish are just waiting there for it to, for one of these flies to come down. But super effective when you see structure like this in rivers, throw it up just above the edge, let the fly kind of fall over the edge and a lot of times that works. Man, right there. Yeah. Oh, nice. It does, you have to fall it off that edge. <laughs> nice catch. The water's rushing over a shallower part and then just quickly dives off into the abyss. Fish love to hang just on the back side of that. So you can see by this illustration, the fish are hanging just off the edge and waiting for things to come down off of the edge and eat. This tactic is super, super effective. So use these jig type of flies on an indicator, throw it above the ledge, let it come down over the ledge. And usually when it falls off the ledge, boom, there's a fish there waiting for it. We probably caught 30 fish, 30 fish fishing this way. And it wasn't just on this one ledge. We were targeting the structure from here on out. The fish just seemed to be hanging right on those edges. If you don't believe me, check out this video and count how many times that I say the word edge or ledge. There we go. Right off that edge, I tied on a, uh, a big uh, egg sucking leech on a jig hook and just threw it off the edge and I decided to put an indicator on so I can control the depth. Yeah, wow. When you guys weren't looking, I tied on this, uh, this egg sucking leech Decided to see if I could throw it off the edge. I got that dandy. Wow. And then I thought I would just try to throw it over this edge just as it went over the edge. There we go. Fish on. Right on that edge again. There we go. <sighs> They're just sitting on this edge. Can you see this edge? They're just literally sitting on that edge, kind of letting it fall over the edge and then it falls over this edge there we go you want to try, you want to run at this edge why don't you come over here kobe and run this edge wow all right kobe has got the fly on he's gonna chuck it off that edge and i think it's gonna happen pretty darn quick perfect right there oh right there yep okay. yeah and then when it falls off that edge just watch for that indicator to start swimming down or back upstream. Man, they are just stacked in those ledges. We have got the fly and we are throwing it right over that edge and the fish are just munching it when it goes over the edge. There it is, nice. Oh yeah. It's crazy how they're just consistently holding right on that edge. Man, right there. Yeah. Oh nice. It does, you have to fall it off that edge. Nice. As soon as you hit that edge, it's boom, fish on. All right, so we learned two things today. Fish a jig hook fly on an indicator, vary your depth, 
and target these edges of rivers, fish hang out there. You'll catch more fish. Oh my God, what a shock. It's raining in Washington. <laughs> All right, so your fly fishing pro tip. When you're fishing indicators, you gotta keep a sharp eye on that indicator. Try to keep your line mended upstream of that indicator when it's going downstream. As soon as you see anything other than what looks like a natural float, that's the time to set the hook. If all of a sudden the indicator races downstream, sinks or starts to hold back and swim upstream, that means you've got a fish eating your fly. So be sure to pay close attention if that indicator isn't floating down absolutely naturally like nothing's tied to it, there might be a fish on the other end of the line and you need to set the hook. So that is your fly fishing tip of this video. All right, everybody. Hey, and if you want to understand how to better read rivers, I put together a video right here that goes in depth about where to find trout in rivers. So I hope you find this helpful the next time you're out fly fishing for trout. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on.